Hello, welcome back to the Union Chronicle. Tom List here, your PEA president, coming to you from Timnath Elementary, sitting at the shelter right next to the Walt Weiss Field. Well, I told you the Union Chronicles were going to start coming fast and furious, and, uh, and so here they are. Uh, today is a big day down at the legislature, and I want to let you know about a couple of things. This is news so hot off the press, not even your negotiations team has learned about this. They'll learn about it probably before you watch this, though. Um, the School Finance Act, which we've been waiting for for weeks, uh, will be introduced tonight, and it will contain, instead of a $77 million buy-down of the BS factor, it will contain a $100 million buy-down of the BS factor. Uh, that's a nice chunk of $23 million more money that uh, will be going to public education. So. Um, Here's what we would like you to do here in these last few weeks. We need, we need member action. Uh, it was actually a year ago today that Englewood shut down their schools and started the days of action that ended with, uh, with April 27th. And it's time to let our legislators, the ones that ran on education as their top platform issue, to know that they can't forget about us. So here's a couple of activities that will be going on. Um, one of them is, is hustle. My battery's running low. Well. Hope I can finish this. Um, Hustle is a text communication program, and uh, if you've got your home phone number in with CEA, um, you will be uh, receiving some instructions about how to contact legislators via Hustle. And then also we have a new thing we're calling it Ledge Zeppelin, and it's a very easy one phone number. Uh, you enter your zip code, and you are directed right to the office phone numbers of uh, your senator. Um, we are going to uh, focus on the Senate first. That's where the School Finance Act will begin. And, of course, we're asking for them to uh, maintain that $100 million buy-down of the BS factor. And then the other big bill that's coming up in the next few days is the evaluation bill, the bill that would bring some updates to Senate Bill 191. Um, it's gone through a lot of changes. I'm not exactly sure what the current bill contains. But the basic idea is that uh, educators are respected and that time is given back to administrators and educators as it relates to evaluation. That evaluation could happen once every three years for non-probationary teachers and that student growth scores be changed from 50% down to something lower. 30% was the target number the last time I saw that bill. So please, please, please contact your legislator using this phone number right here for the Ledge Zeppelin, and stay tuned for more information. Um, here's a little bit of PSD negotiations updates. Our straw design team, which is uh, made up of three members of the negotiations teams of PEA, ACE, PACE, and the Cabinet, and hopefully we'll be able to pound out uh, some kind of agreement which can be brought to the big circle, which meets this Friday. Uh, that's what I have for you. Oh, yeah, one more thing. Um, we would like to coordinate, uh, we're calling them rolling lobby days, and so stay tuned for a date where if you could take a day and come down with me uh, to the Capitol and so that we'd like to have one, uh, at least one big local uh, present at the Capitol every day from now until the end of the session on May 3rd. That's what I've got for you for now. I'm sure I'll be in touch with you soon. Take care. The end is in sight. Thank you. Bye.